Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader today is Father John Morrison, St Fergus Catholic Church in Paisley. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, I thank you for allowing me to lead this reflection time today. It's a great honour to be here. I've been a Catholic priest since 2001, and during that time I've had the enormous privilege and responsibility of working with young people throughout the West of Scotland. Presently, I find myself ministering to remarkable learning communities, St James and St Fergus Primary Schools in Paisley. Over the years, I've been blessed to witness the generosity of spirit so evident in our young people. I've seen them bring comfort to the sick and the dying, bring solace to the dispossessed, and bring hope to those who live on the peripheries. They're often selfless and dedicated in their service of the local communities. They pursue excellence in many and varied fields, not as an end in itself, but so that as many fruits may be shared. Over 40 years ago, the American businessman, writer, and futurist, Alvin Toffler, lamented that society secretly communicates to young people that they are not needed. The society will get by until they, at some distant point in the future, can take over the reins. Yet, he continues, the fact is that society is not running itself nicely. The rest of us need right here and right now the energy, the intelligence, and the imagination that young people have in abundance. If we are to attempt to solve the many problems we face as a species, the full engagement of even very young people is not simply desirable, but of the utmost necessity. Can there be any nobler and fruitful labor the seeking to fully engage young people in the life of our country, our parliament, and our communities? I sincerely doubt it. Whether it be in the public square, in the realm of politics, in our local neighbourhoods, or even in our faith communities. Let us always have the determination and the courage to entrust our young people with the sacred tasks of solving the problems of today and grasping the possibilities of tomorrow. Thank you. 